Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 30th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as a look at earthquakes and world weather. Starting out here, looking at us as our sun, as we did just have an M-class solar flare that we will be talking about as well, long-duration C-class solar flares, plasma filament eruptions, as you can see there in the southern hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere, very active sun as of late. And if you've been paying attention and staying aware and prepared with daily events, you will know that we are going through solar cycle 25, which is a maximum. And we're already seeing well above predicted sunspot values. I want to welcome everybody to this live premiere, having a look at our sun right away. And I want to thank everybody for checking in. In the chat section, thank you moderators. Hello Super Dave, hello Violet. Hello Cuban Mama. Hello Garth Brook or Garth. Hello Mike Loves Nature. Hello Wendy. Hello Kean, hello Matthew. Welcome everybody to this live update. Live world update. Having a look at our sun for the last 48 hours, the M-class solar flare came from sunspot region right here in the northwest. As you can see, the small flash. We're just going to give a pause on that flare. Right there, M-class solar flare. So not in an earth-facing position, but is set, because it did create a CME, is set to give us a glancing blow right around the same time as our expected CME from the last blast. If you have not seen that, please check out yesterday's update. But right now, we're looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms. We're going to switch over to another light here, to the multi-spectrum. Or not. There we go. Multi-spectrum. We do have five sunspot regions right now. Three of them are in the southern hemisphere. Two of them, or actually six because of this new one cresting around. But you can see that small flash with the cross right here. That is the M-class solar flare. Plasma filament eruption in the outgoing position. That thing was pretty massive as well. Filament destabilization in the southern hemisphere. And as well, coronal hole building in. You can see the coronal hole right here. The blackened regions. So we've got two coronal hole regions turning away in the northern hemisphere. And then this southern hemisphere developing right here. Behind all this activity observed in the last 48 hours in the southern hemisphere. So pretty active sun to say the least. That is your space weather update having a look at the solar x-ray flux hopping right up into M-class range and still long duration C-class solar flares being affected and seen. KP index is sitting at 2. Solar flux slight increase there. Have a quick look here at the DRAP, which is the cosmic absorption map, if it'll load. And take a quick moment to say hello to everyone. Hello, Susan Marie. Thank you for getting in and getting a notification, apparently a little late. Hello, Holly. Hello, Delia. Hello, Brother Love, a.k.a. Rhythmic Solar. That's pretty cool. Hello, Jesse Greywolf. Hello, Wendy Roddenbaugh. 75 people in here right now. Have you hit the thumbs up yet? Please don't forget to do that. It does help share this video. Helps YouTube want to recommend them. Give a like, give a comment, give a share. And thank you for checking in. My laptop is having some issues right now, apparently. 
please bear with me as it just takes a moment for this hard drive to uh, get back in order. But you can see here over the Pacific Ocean, highly charged up today. And still being charged up. Have been for the past, what, five days? Since the last solar major solar event. Quick look at the last go to, showing the last 48 hours of events on our sun. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Right, 30 or 93 people in here right now. Can we get 90 likes? And much love to everyone. I hope you are enjoying, you, or I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Now back to another work week. Happy Sunday. God bless you all. And apparently, some thoughts and prayers going out to the Morales family. I just heard the news today, actually. I had no idea. But Mike Morales is uh, another well-known YouTuber here on the platform. Uh, passed away a little while ago. So thoughts and prayers going out to the Mike Morales family. A lot of you people in this chat know who he was. And he was a very big influence on this YouTube platform. And as well in the weather, earthquakes and space weather community. So that's the last 48 hours on Lasco, showing a CME taking off in the northwestern fashion and as well just recently from that M-class solar flare. No projections yet from Iswa, but we did have a small CME take off from the sun before the M-class solar flare. And that is set to give us a glancing blow, having a look at the Iswa space prediction spiral. Here you can see it taking off towards Venus, but right around the same date as our last event, it will be giving us a glancing blow. Hello, Paula. Hello, Melody. Hello, Steve Jackson. You're welcome. Thank you, Mary Sweeten, for the subscription. Stay aware and prepared, and welcome to the family. As you can see, the notifications come up right on that live stream anytime people subscribe to daily events worldwide. And I want to thank you. We just passed 64,000 follows across this world. So much love and thank you to everyone who shares and cares about this channel. Quick look at our magnetosphere as space weather conditions do are sorry, are still a little bit high, just under 500 kilometers per second right now with our solar winds. The pressure is off, but the earthquakes continue. Having a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, we did have a couple deep earthquakes in Fiji coming back to our regular activity. But throughout Indonesia, we did have some sizable 5.5ers as well a deep, deep earthquake here in uh, southern Japan. Uh, south of Japan through the Bonin Islands region. Deep earthquake up into India. Minor earthquakes there. Turkey, yet again. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, seeing a five-pointer. And some activity coming back to South America. But then we overlook North America. And this is where a lot of activity was. We were sitting at 420 earthquakes in the 24-hour period this morning. And that was due to an earthquake swarm that was occurring at the Salton Sea, which is just north of the region that was seeing an earthquake swarm yesterday. Having a look at USGS mapping, this is where we saw the earthquake swarm yesterday in Heber, California. Saw about 90 earthquakes with that swarm. And then we had an earthquake here, just west of the Salton Sea. Do believe that was a three-pointer. Just waiting for it to load up. Again, I'm, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Hello, Tom Ritter. Hello, The Struggle is Real. Hello, Paula. Hello, Lloyd. Hello, Miss Anonymous. 
Hello, Ericle. Welcome everybody to this live stream and as well live world update, space weather update. So yeah, it started out here, 3.4 earthquake at Ocotillo Wells, California, and then uh, what southeastern shores of the Salton Sea. It started with a 4.3 earthquake there at Neeland, California, and it carried on. And we've seen now 41 earthquakes in the region. Other than that, no major earthquakes to talk about. Just recently, Kermadec Islands, 4.1. And as well, another earthquake, Japan, Irakawa, 72 kilometer depth. Seismicity continuing across Alaska. And as well towards this volcanic range. Stay tuned for a volcano update coming soon. Working on the video as we speak. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, folks. Have a quick look here at world weather as well. And here we'll be using uh, windy.com, which is a pretty good for forecast model site for world weather. Hopefully it loads up. Hello, Bill Kings and Miss Kings Kings and Smith. There we go. Bill Kings and Smith, welcome. Christopher Reddy, welcome. May sixth, lunar eclipse coming up. Yep. Yeah, we also have Mercury retrograde. Also just waiting for this site to load up. There we go. There we go, we got some weather now. Okay, we'll see if it loads up here. All right, so having a look at world weather, we do have that large low pressure system over eastern North America right now, and that stretches well into the Hudson Bay, down to Haiti, pretty much, down into Cuba. Long a line of moisture being drawn out of the Gulf of Mexico up into eastern parts of North America. So yeah, rain continues through Ontario and as well northeast regions. Not much is going to change here over the next couple days as that low lingers and then gets injected with some pretty cold air, some snow falling in northeastern parts of the United States, high pressure ridge building in behind that. But overall, some very large low pressure systems and these upper level lows seem to be gobbling up all the surface level lows and just getting stronger and stronger through the Atlantic right now. And same thing is happening in the Pacific. So all of a sudden we're going to see some pretty strong systems here coming into the West Coast in this long range forecast, looking at Wednesday into Thursday. We're even going to see some snow across the Pacific Northwest. Carrying on here, Colorado low for Saturday. Then long range forecast is set for a cool down, but the West will be warming up a little bit. Another strong low there across eastern parts of the United States. Cold, high pressure ridge. Not much is going to be changing in the way of temperatures. Things are cooling off as we speak right now. Backside of this large low through Ontario. Across the rest of the world, not too much to talk about right now. No major cyclones or tropical systems. But over the next few days, watch for extreme weather to increase across South America as some pretty massive lows are heading through southern Chile, Argentina, 
this week. Watch for extreme weather to break out through parts of Paraguay and southern Brazil. Low pressure system still bringing in moisture bands across the United Kingdom and most of Europe. Low pressure system in the Mediterranean is going to help continue that. Overlooking the next couple days, not much is going to change. These large lows in the Atlantic are coming in hot. Hundred and thirty four people watching right now. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Keto Mama. Hello, Jason Parker. Welcome, everybody. And thank you all for 64,000 followers. Much love. I appreciate each and every one of you in the comment section and sharing and caring. Long range forecast, pretty strong system moving into North Korea or South Korea and then into Japan. But other than that, no major systems except for this system here coming into New Zealand over the next couple of days. Pretty close to a tropical cyclone, but not quite. Sunday, Monday, and then it finally scoots southward, but it's going to bring quite a bit of rain to southern New Zealand. Having a look at the southern hemisphere right now, all of the low pressure systems spinning around clockwise versus the northern hemisphere. I want to thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, giving you world update and as well a space weather update. Enjoy your work week ahead. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.